Hey. Hey, you guys. Hey, Gal. Gal. Hey. <laughs> good. How are you guys today? So good. It's. I mean, it's our first time being in a room together for several months yeah. at least. And like the last time we did press, it was all virtual and yeah. we were in our homes like stressing about tech. And so, now we're just like sat next to each other being idiots and talking <laughs> too long between interviews and, and annoying the people that are so kindly setting all this up. Yep, yep. We're doing an excellent oh, job today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds delightful and amazing. So <laughs> oh. congratulations on another brilliant series of Dickinson. Um, Thank it you. Is incredible. Um, I wonder if we could just start by talking about where your characters are because it's a few many years after season two mm -hmm. and we're straight into a war and there's mm -hmm. a lot going on with you two yeah it gets pretty metal this season yeah, <laughs> yeah. i would say uh it's definitely the darkest season um and but also the like there are the highest highs and the lowest lows it's like the best roller coaster in the theme park i would say and in a sense this season is the most uncannily close to modern day america oh, yeah. From, from polarized politics, a civil war that feels like we're treating it like the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Everyone feels like it's been going on too Forever. long. <laughs> when is it gonna be over? Yeah. Is this the new normal? It's, it's just, it's ripe with comedy parallels and also emotionally dark parallels yeah. too. Um, and the show really packs a punch this season. It doesn't, it doesn't flinch at going to the really dark places. Oh, yeah. For all our characters too, um, and that was a real like, pleasure. Yeah. It was a strange thing to say, but it was a pleasure to. It was cathartic. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was actually really cathartic yeah. to come out of lockdown and this pandemic and make this like dark, mm -hmm. confronting thing together. It's a real. We delved deep into the family drama, which I think a lot of us who spent more time with our families uh, mm -hmm. during quarantine than we had been used to can all get behind. <laughs> yeah, you. I mean, you basically just answered like all my questions in that really eloquent way. Um, because I was about to say that even the first episode, I was like, "This is the pandemic. This is yeah. exactly what we've been going through." Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That 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 was intentional. Yeah. Oh man, woof. And I mean, your guys' characters, uh, I don't want to try and give something away, but you're in both like opposite ends of your marriage now. You're oh, yeah. just at, in straight up conflict. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're living, we're sharing the same roof, but we're not sharing much else. <laughs> That's so, such a good way of putting it. <laughs> but we do, I think the most of all the seasons, Sue and Austin do really confront this this rift between them yeah and they build something out of it yeah um and we get to look at this non-traditional relationship dynamic uh in a way that feels like strikingly familiar to me to contemporary relationship dynamics yeah i, I think at its core this this show really grapples with being outside of the box or thinking outside of the box and you definitely see austin and sue having no other option but to find a way to make their marriage work yeah. uh, despite it being a loveless marriage or no romantic love there and to step into the unconventionality that is in yeah. both of themselves yes. as characters and yeah. allowing that to actually help the relationship mm -hmm. flourish uh, yeah. it's 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 a really cool dynamic they end up establishing <laughs> It really is. And I can't wait for everyone to see it. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Again, it's a brilliant series and I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I did. Us too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey.